Yo, what's up humans and bots alike? I am Genghis Raf, and welcome to Genghis Guides. Today I will be guiding you through finger roll variations. So watch my, uh, if you're watching this, you probably have seen my finger rolls basics video, but also watch my stacking video before watching the rest. I'm gonna be just showing you just uh, simple variants of moves, so I'm going to start right here. This is a finger roll. So a full monodirectional overhand finger roll would be like this. This is just another simple move. Uh, you can put your thumb on top like here, which is what I usually do. And then your thumb on the bottom right there. That's how I usually do it. And then you can have one palm face up, one palm face down as your finger roll, like this. And it, can make it look like a wave. I prefer a wave over a finger roll, but you know, the finger roll looks nice too. Sort of. Mine sucks. You can do cross rolls. So a cross roll is when you're like crossing it over. It's probably got a better name, but I don't know, that's what I call them. And you can cross over this way. Um, it. That's why I wanted you to watch the stacking video, because like uh, you're, you're using kind of grid work there, stacking grid work. And then you can also do that from the underside. Yeah, uh, I suck at it, but it's, it's, a, it's an option there. Infinite rolls. Infinite rolls are basically when you just do a one-sided thing right here. Uh, also, just putting it out there, one one cross roll that I enjoy is this one that, like, um, that my friend Jericho was showing me like a year or two ago. This one, where you're you're just going like that with this hand. It, it looks pretty nice. Uh, there's same monodirectional, so that's um, if you split it, you're going at the same time. And you can do that under, over, across, however. Uh, this one you can do the same way. Uh, these are split monodirectional. So this, this means that you're going like, uh, when, when one hand is down, the other hand is out. So it looks kind of like that. And that looks pretty sick. And then you can fractal it, so you can go just simple like that, or like two. It, it's insane how many variants you got from just this one move. You can do that over or under, or like cross like that, you know. You can do that from like here, from like there. It's insane. Uh, split bidirectional. So split bidirectional means you have one hand closed, but you're doing the opposite directions. Or you can just do same bidirectional where you're going in the, you're going from like in to out or out to in, out to in, in to out. Uh, you can also use finger rolls to make boxes or shapes. I'll show you the, uh, I'll, I'll add finger rolls to that box move I showed you in the stacking video. So right here, add, add a finger roll and then make it continuous. So when this finger goes down, this finger goes down like that. And then same with your pinkies. And then you can go the other way. Um, you can like manipulate shapes. So do try other shapes as well once you get that one down. And another thing is a concept of polyrhythmic switch. I don't quite understand it that well yet, so I'm not going to talk about it much. I just want to throw it out there that polyrhythmic switches can get you from splitting to the same very well, very, very good. And then once you get it to a point where you're comfortable with polyrhythmic switching, 
you can um, add like true finger rolls in there or like even like phase uh, digit phases in waves and it looks nuts so play around with these finger roll variations and I suggest to practice this for a while before going on but once you are ready check out my other guides and other people's guides because they're awesome too if you would like to keep updated on my channel please subscribe for videos when they come out and hit me in the comments if you like the video need something explained or just want to say something thank you for watching keep chill and shoots